Level 100. The pinnacle of power for a Pokemon. Very few Pokemon ever reach this level. This is a series of videos in which I push Pokemon's levels to the absolute limit by raising them to 100 in unconventional ways and environments. Because, more or less, I'm crazy. This is the Level 100 Gauntlet. I hope you enjoy. The pomegranate is a bizarre fruit full of usually hundreds of red edible orbs known as arils. Throughout history, the fruit has been symbolic of abundance in many different cultures. The berry named after this fruit in Pokemon, the pomegranate berry, could not be more worthy of its namesake. First of all, because it's bizarre. I mean, the tree that it comes from looks like it's from another planet. To be fair though, most of the Gen 3 berry trees look like they're from another planet especially with the way they move around and dance. But I'd also consider the Palm Egg Berry to be a symbol of abundance, because in the third gen games, particularly Emerald version, there is a glitch you can perform with the Palm Egg Berry that opens up hundreds, if not thousands, if not even limitless possibilities for things you can do in the games. I'm about to give a brief explanation of the Palm Egg glitch and how it ties into this gauntlet. But before I do that, I wanted to say that what I'm doing in this gauntlet barely even scratches the surface of what the Palm Egg glitch is capable of. There are some applications of it that open up avenues to data corruption and arbitrary code execution. And here are some channels that you can check out if you want to see more of these crazy applications or see what else the Palm Egg glitch is capable of. But throughout this gauntlet, we're going to stick with a very, very basic version of it. So let's get into that. As of Emerald version, the Palm Egg Berry, when used on a Pokemon, increases its happiness and lowers its HP EVs by 10, assuming it has some HP EV investment. If you use a Palm Egg Berry on a Pokemon with 1 HP, its max HP and current HP will drop, meaning that it will either reach 0 HP, effectively having it in a fainted state, or it can even drop below 0. HP is stored as an unsigned integer in these games, meaning that a negative number is not really interpreted as a negative number and is instead seen as an incredibly large number, in this case in the ballpark of 65,535 HP. I could go into further depth why it's like that, but in this gauntlet, we're actually more concerned with the zero HP scenario anyway, so don't worry about it. Now the whole quirk of the zero HP scenario is that if the Pokemon you're performing the glitch on is the only Pokemon in your party, upon reaching zero HP and knocking it out, you will not white out, allowing you to freely roam around with just a fainted Pokemon in your party. Now for this gauntlet, we will just be walking around with the Pokemon we're performing the glitch on, which will be knocked out, and an egg. When you walk out into the tall grass with the egg at the front of your party, you're able to send the egg out into battle. The Pokemon within the egg shows up in battle, but with the egg's color palette, so it looks really weird, and it's capable of using the attacks that it would use whenever it would hatch. In addition to this, the egg is capable of gaining experience and leveling up. And that is the subject of today's level 100 gauntlet. Using the Palm Egg glitch, we're going to train the Pokemon inside of an egg to level 100 before it hatches. So, there is a lot of preparation to be done here in order to make sure things go smoothly. There are lots of things we need to keep in mind too. Every single step our character takes is one step closer to making our efforts in this gauntlet somehow more moot point than they already are in the first place. Because if we were to walk enough steps for the egg to hatch, it resets back down to level 5, only retaining the moves it has learned in its current form in the evolutionary line. If we were to go at this in a normal way with wild encounters, we'd be making a lot of small trips to the Pokemon Center. But small trips to and from the Pokemon Center really add up in terms of the step count. So we don't want to do anything that will have us going back there any more than a few dozen times. Also, there's another fairly unique catch to this. At the end of every battle, the game finally notices that you don't actually have any fighting fit Pokemon in your party. So you white out, which sends you back to the Pokemon Center, which is exactly where we don't want to go. 
And on top of that, it means you have to repeat the glitch again because your fainted Pokémon is then fully healed. Meaning that the number of Pomonic Berries we have is another really important resource we have to keep in mind. There is a workaround to whiting out by using a revive on the fainted Pokémon during battle, but then you still have to repeat the glitch on it again, and then you have another resource to worry about, the revives. I don't even want to think about how many Palm Egg Berries, revives, and how much HP EV training I would have to do on top of this to train an egg to level 100 in a normal conventional way. To add some further complication, an egg is still just an egg. So we can't give it any held items like a lucky egg, imagine that, an egg holding an egg, or take an easier route with items like rare candies. Keeping in mind all these exhaustible resources, in order to maximize our efficiency, we're going to do the tried and true Blissey Secret Base Strategy. The Blissey Secret Base Strategy is exactly what it sounds like. It is a secret base, full of Blissey. This became a very popular training method with the release of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire with the Super Secret Bases, but in the original games you're still able to pull this off through regular secret bases and mixing records, given that you have 6 level 100 Blissey. So to start out with all the crazy preparation for this gauntlet, I trained a Blissey to level 100. I know, like he's supposed to be like, oh you junior hero! Since the focus of this gauntlet is training an egg to level 100 and not necessarily the Blissey, I did something that I don't normally resort to doing, and that is using the Emerald Cloning Glitch. I figured since that we're already using the Palm Egg Glitch, it might as well be fun to make use of another glitch to make my life much easier. Pulling off this glitch is actually pretty simple. Just save the game with Pokemon that you want to clone in the PC, go to the Battle Tower in the Battle Frontier, Withdraw the Pokémon that you want to clone and put it in your party. Go to the receptionist for the Link multi-battle room. Choose your Pokémon, and when she asks to save, hit yes. Then, after the little freeze that happens, before we start actually saving the game, turn off the game, turn it back on, and then the Pokémon is both in your party and in the PC. I repeated this until I had 6 level 100 Blissey. Oh, and in order to have a Blissey secret base, I guess we have to have a secret base too, so... I got one of those. I chose one on Route 119 because it's relatively close to the Pokemon Center. And then, on my other copy of Emerald where I plan on actually doing the gauntlet, I mixed records with this Emerald with the six Blissey in my party. We also need a subject to perform the glitch on, and I chose Gengar because with Curse, whenever it has an odd amount of HP, it allows you to get down to 1 HP just by using it twice very easily. And we're going to be having to get down to 1 HP quite a bit during this gauntlet. I also made sure to invest in maximum HP EVs on this Gengar because we're going to have to perform the Palm Egg glitch multiple times. And oh yeah, we need an egg too. Honestly, I could have chosen any Pokemon to be within the egg, but I actually opted for one that I've already used in the level 100 gauntlet, and that is Ninkata, or Ninkata, however you choose to pronounce it. Because at the end of the day when it reaches 100, we'll have two level 100 eggs when it evolves into Ninjask and Shedinja. I just can't resist that possibility. Also, it's perfect because it's part of the erratic experience group, meaning that it requires the least amount of experience to reach level 100, which should be just enough for the limited number of Palm Egg Berries that I already happen to have on this file. So yeah, I didn't actually do any Palm Egg Berry growing preparation for this gauntlet at all. I just gathered a lot on my regular playthrough of the game. I taught the Egg's father, who you might recognize, the Toxic and Sandstorm TMs. And since Dig is also a TM, it will also get passed down to the Egg. These tools will be our main ways of defeating the Blissey and stalling out turns as their HP slowly whittles down. I actually generated the Egg on my other Emerald copy and traded it over because believe it or not, Eggs actually do get the traded experience boost, despite the hatched Pokémon having your OT and not getting that boost. And now at this point, with the Egg on our game, I'd say we are finally ready to get into the true gauntlet. Almost 10 minutes into the video. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. On February 9th, it all really began. Since Gengar had an odd maximum amount of HP at this point, it was really easy to set up to get to 1 HP. Just use Curse twice, and we were good to go. 
walked into the secret base, used the palm egg berry on the Gengar, made sure it was in the second slot in my party, saved the game, and I was ready to take on the world. But the unexpected happened. For some reason my fainted Gengar got sent out instead, and there was no way I could bring the egg into battle. And then, as soon as the Gengar fainted, the game soft locked. I was completely crestfallen, and had no idea where I went wrong. I started to wonder if it was even possible to do egg battles within secret bases since the Gengar got sent out instead. I was really worried that all of the preparation had been for nothing. I shouldn't have been worried about it though, because Vey Pomeg Glitch has a video where he demonstrates something with this method, but I completely missed it in my research for this video. Completely dejected, I did what any insane person would do, and tried the exact same thing again the next day, expecting a different result. You only get one chance at these secret base battles every day, so it all came down to this, or I'd have to wait another 24 hours. No way, it actually sent out the egg this time! The, talk slot, the, the soft lock has been avoided. I have no idea why that happened yesterday. I didn't do anything different. In a strange turn of events, after doing nothing different, somehow, we are fighting with the egg now, and the true gauntlet can begin. Words cannot express how happy I am about this. I have heard some weird things about the palm egg glitch sometimes having unexpected results, so maybe it was just a weird outlier case where it happened like that. But now I have a strategy to uh, use Toxic on this Blissey. And Sandstorm. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. It ends after one turn because I technically white it out. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use Revive on my Gengar first turn, and then do this. <laughs> I'll be back again. Alright, this time I'm going to use Revive on uh, Gengar first turn so we can actually fight the Blissey. Go Egg! Yay! Thank you. Alright, Revive. Revive the Gengar so it's technically there so we don't white out first turn. This is going to use light screen. And good, we have an actual turn to battle now. <laughs> Thunderbolt doesn't affect egg. Alright, let's see how much EXP we get. 8,194. Not bad. Finally, the strategy was working. And it was working great. It took about 20 minutes to take out the whole team of 6 Blissies. For just this battle I'm going to show a time lapse of the whole thing, but don't expect this for all the other days of this challenge because it's very much just rinse and repeating the same strategy over and over again. There we go, 33 levels on an egg in one battle in one day. And now the egg is evolving, which is crazy. I'm mashing B to prevent it from evolving right now. Okay, yeah, we can prevent the egg from evolving, but we're gonna not prevent it on the final level so we can get two eggs from this. And yeah, let's check out the status of our party. We have a fully healed Gengar now. And just another unassuming egg. But yeah, I guess uh, now we gotta repeat the glitch again. Uh, I gotta do this, I think, 12 times based on the amount of experience that we got. Since uh, it'll take 600,000 experience to reach level 100. So we'll just have to repeat the glitch again with this Gengar. And then we'll be all set up to do it again tomorrow. Another day, another Blissey. I forgot to do the revive thing again. 
see you tomorrow. February 13th. I will remember to use revives today. I did remember to use the revives and got some considerable levels. Once I got into the swing of things, this actually turned out to be a pretty non-committal gauntlet. Just 20 minutes out of the day and a bunch of levels. Because of how easy it felt, I felt all the preparation actually paying off. You can only do one secret battle per day per base. But, I took a suggestion from my friend Your Fried Bread to see if I could get around that. And the suggestion was to mix records again. It works! I can just mix records again if I want to battle on the same day. So I guess let's uh, finish the prep for the glitch itself, and then we can go back in there and get a battle. I went and recorded the second battle I did on the 14th on my good old-fashioned Game Boy SP, because that's just the way that I roll. I could have kept going and done the glitch again and did another battle that night, but I decided against it. I was having a pretty busy week because of work and various other things, and really only planned on doing one battle a day anyway. Got an elite trainer box today. Woohoo. Let's open it up. Nice. And now it is Pomeg time. Oh no. This is difficult. I did it! And there goes DDD. Despite my best efforts to turn on my DS while wearing a DDD puppet, unfortunately this day became a failure. Oh, it sent out the Gengar today again. I feel like it has a small chance of that happening. Again, without doing anything different the next day, the egg got sent out correctly. At the time of editing, I still haven't looked far enough into this to figure out why the Gengar sometimes gets sent out, so if any of you happen to know, I would love an explanation in the comments, and don't be afraid to get technical with it. Mixing records again. By this point I had reached a level of proficiency at which I could probably complete this in my sleep. As long as the Gengar had an odd amount of max HP. Something I haven't really shown much on video yet is how long it takes to actually set this up with an even amount of HP. But the odd HP setup is so easy, just two curses. In the even max HP scenario like I was in now, I couldn't use curse twice, because on the second usage of it, it would take me down to zero HP. Meaning I would have to use it once, and then rely on wild Pokemon to whittle me down to 1 HP. Which, as you can imagine, was very luck-based, and sometimes took a long time. At this point in the gauntlet, I guess you could say that this is the only thing that you could really call a challenge. Level 76. What's up? I didn't have work today, so I decided I would go try and find an actual pomegranate for the intro of this video. And after like two or three hours of going to a ton of different stores, no one was selling pomegranates. So, I guess in order to make today not a literally fruitless day, I'm gonna try and see if I can finish this up today. If I keep mixing records with myself and I don't end up getting the weird Gengar goes first glitch or forget to use a revive, I should be able to finish it today. So, uh, let's get at it. Out on the good old balcony again. I'm all set up to do this. Got my SPs with the wireless adapters for whenever I need to mix records. Got my Emerald version in the SPs. Got my Kirby Automaton. For real, let's get things going. Having the day off work meant that I was able to know life this gauntlet at my maximum power level. Something that I hadn't reached in a very long time. But I underestimated how cold it would be outside and did one excruciating battle outside in the cold before giving in and going back inside to do the rest. Level 81. Woohoo! Back inside in the warmth.
one. It just did the Gengar send out thing. Dang it, I have to wait till tomorrow to finish this gauntlet now. But that's not bad. I got to do three battles today. The next two days, I only had a little bit of time. So I was only able to get one Blissey battle off every day. But progress is progress. And at the end of the 20th, we were one battle away from getting this egg to level 100. February 23rd, just enjoying some uh, Frostbite live. And I think today is gonna be our last day that we have to do this for the gauntlet. So I'm super excited about it. Just gonna prepare the Gengar for it. Gonna see how much, okay. We've gone into moves occasionally now on the egg, which is pretty interesting too. And yeah, now let's do the battle. Enter capture mode. Yes, level 100 egg! Let's go! This has been such a wild ride. I cannot believe that it actually worked in the end. We did it. Now we just gotta take like a, a blissy killing victory lap. Boom, that's it. Now we can evolve the egg. Egg evolved into Ninjask. Isn't that beautiful? And now, in our party, we have two eggs. <laughs> it looks like they both maintain the same step count, too, which is pretty interesting. But my gosh, we've done it. We have a level 100 egg. What a crazy world we live in. And looking back at the first save before the first battle, this took an overall a total of 3 hours and 43 minutes of gameplay. Not bad, thanks to preparation beforehand. Now I guess let's check out the eggs in combat real quick, and then let's hatch them. But I'm not going to save after I hatch them because I probably want to keep them as level 100 eggs. The color scheme on that looks so cool. Ninja egg. Watching these fully evolved Pokemon hatch from these eggs was surreal to me. And looking back on it all, I don't regret training these eggs to level 100 at all. In fact, I think the eggs are almost like shinies to me, trophies that I can keep on my file and look at every now and then just to remind me of something cool that I have in my games. But that's going to do it for today's level 100 gauntlet. I have lots more planned for the future. No telling when I'll be able to put out the next one, but as always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.